Hello everyone, and here I am with my first LEGO Throwback Thursday review and throwbots review. Well, and so, and to get a little idea of these, these were put out in 1999 as little predecessors of Bionicle, uh, and to, also along with Robo Riders, which I'll also be reviewing for Throwback Thursday. So, which, so how it's going to work out is once there's once I finished up with the throwbots, move on to the Robo Riders, and then do classic reviews and then move on and then there but it's also going to be in a rotation thing kind of like just do good what did where it was like one week star wars the next week paradisa or whatever and then one week uh fabulan or whatever but this is going to be like that but where it's construction and then star wars since like the star wars and these sets are both t are reaching the 20th anniversaries and yeah so let's start out the reviews with Throwbots, Torch, and Ski. So here's the front of the boxes. You see the Throwbots logo, picture of the sets that come within. And also a little slot that says Shoots Discs. But it's Ski's of which has two spots that says Shoots Discs. Uh, not sure why that is, but whatever. And also how I got these was I got them on Bricklink a long time ago. Uh, yeah. So you see the Lego Technic logos and then the piece amount of pieces that are included. Then on the sides of each box, as you see, involves with some nice artwork but and some stuff at some evil faces etched into it. And the other side of which uh, I'll do a cluster of on skis here is he says all shows all the pieces, build it, and includes carry case and shoots discs and poster included of the combination model that you get. And on the back of which you see a little flap that hangs it from the store pins and all back in the day. It says collect all eight and shows all eight characters. And the name's kinda highlighted for the character that's in this box. And the robots shoot discs to compete for ultimate control. Who will win? The Lego Technic logos and the set number again. And at the top is the names of these. But I'm going to go by the European, the American names, or as the European names were, Slicer, so of course. But whenever you use Slicer or the robot, you can use either, call them either one. And now to the booklets. You see, same picture is on the front of the box and everything, which I'm going to show this on just one. Okay, so on the back, you see, and flip over is that of the combination model of some of these sets. And what I kind of don't get, uh, what's quite annoying is that the instructions in each one are the exact same amount of instructions for that. If anyone knows why, tell them the comments. And then flip to there and how to fold them up into the carrying case, which soon to be a canister. And then shoot the discs into the carrying case and the final building stuff. So much. And also, interesting thing with these throw boxes is the instructions all have a different background. That's for that, as you can see there. But later ones had little similar ones, which I'll get to later. But also included with these four th all, and all the throw boxes, a little advertisement booklet, which as you see with Ski on the front and also the little planet that they all live on. And then flip up and then seeing Lego Technic and some sets at the time and also how to fold into the canister. And, and add for all the throw box, which I will review all of. And then after competition, Cyber Slam, which got some ideas for the later Rahi of Bonacle. And then Vroom Racers. And some older Technic sets. And on the back, signed to Lego Club. You know. And what you also get with some robots, or these four, is a large poster showing the combination. Of which, if I pick up the camera, and let it focus in. Well, as you see, there's the kind of neat combination model and also the four 
that combine to make this torch, scuba, turbo, and ski. And don't sing super throwbots on it. Flip it over. Then there's all the different discs that you can collect from like the one with two lights to the one with all the lights on. And I get. And yeah. And the last thing extra is the like little carrying cases. Each ones have different ones in different colors, but to match their color schemes. So as you can see, it looks to be like a throwback throw hand, and it's holding one of the discs and Lego Technic etched into it, and also these little loops to like clip it on a belt. Uh, not sure why you do that, but whatever. And I see you have a few Technic pins in there, but it's kind of hard to pin stuff in. And I don't know if you can make it out, but it actually says name where you can write your name. On. And then once you open it up, you can see some plenty of space to store your character in, and also slots to store store your discs in. And on to the discs that are included with these. With Torch, you get this main elemental disc with the flame on it, and also with Ski's three light disc. And then with Ski, you get the elemental disc with the snowflake and all, and also with uh, scuba, and also one with scuba. So, little thing to keep in mind with this robot is they come with the main elemental discs and a random assortment of another character's disc. So first of which, onto the Zeps themselves, starting out with Torch. So as you can see, color scheme in mainly red and black, kind of cool. <laughs> So like here's the feet, of which, which is kind of similar to that of the uh, Paraka and Nika feet, but it's actually kind of quite a small variant of it, which they end up using a little later. And as you see, and they all use these pieces that are reused in the early Toa Matas, and then the head piece, of which is kind of interesting, where you can like use uh, these little visor things that you flip up. And they are also detachable, and that's what they looked like. Now, each visor piece is always printed, so this here is torches. You know, but his uh, form is kind of a hunchback form, where you uh, turn this and... Well, it has a worm gear mechanism in it, which to make it into its portable form. But on one arm, you got one of the Matahan pieces, and also little system flames because little thing to keep another thing to keep in mind with these throwbots is they weren't very creative with the weapons where and of course when they got into 2006 with the paraka they were quite serious with weapons and all and then the other arm of which is what they all have is the uh, throw arm where if I take a disc slot it in it pulls up and shoots out like so. Oh, let me do that again. Which then they later introduced into the what they call Mictorin or Tahanga. And if you're wondering if the body is like two separate pieces or one whole piece, it's actually two separate pieces just linked together. Which, it, if you look at pictures on Brickset and all, then you would know about that. So I guess that might be about it with Torch. And now two with Ski. Which is quite cool. Oh wait, as you can see. For the feet, in this form of skis, he has the uh, like little technic bits that they used on the Nui Rama in the early Bonicle. And also consisting of mainly white, blue, and bright blue and the headpiece of which also used on the scuba one and as you can see but also has minifigure visor but acting like ski goggle so it has but also a little uh, technic thing acting as a ski pole but unfortunately he has it's only one ski pole 
because Neat had they just had to sacrifice it to like give it an extra one for it to be his uh, throw arm. So it might be hard for him to maneuver and all, but yeah. But, uh, and same thing as Torch did, where you can like rotate it up. So at least they did have gear functions before the Toamata sets did. And what else is there to say? Well, if you're a much of a ski person, you might like it, or at least he kind of well fits in with most other ice elemented bonicle sets. And, yeah. and so now on to it, the final verdict. So the work for for final verdict is that these of which are pretty cool sets. Good for any construction collection, and if you're a fan of Lego construction, then go ahead and find them. So, also, nice to have in your Lego box and whatever collections, and if you're looking for some X special locking pieces, then go ahead and pick these up. And or if you're a hardcore construction fan and want to have every set, then go ahead and get these. If you're much of a historian, then yeah. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.